Hi guys, Father Chris here. I wanted to share with you an idea that uh, I used to do years and years ago that I thought during this time of quarantine and isolation is a way that we might be able to make some spiritual use of this time so that we come out of this uh, stronger spiritually. Uh, one of the things that we've suggested you do is do the daily office or do um, uh, online mass with us um, as we stream it or as you watch it on Sundays, a Bible study that I do each week. Uh, all those are ways that we can do it. But I thought of a way that, that or something that we used to do that I thought would be helpful for the entire family. And I want to kind of throw it out as a little competition to you. You see this? This was goal to me when I was a new Christian, or I would say a, a newly sort of serious about my faith Christian. Because I'd grown up in the church and I had a, a pretty significant experience um, in early college that sort of shaped me and made me want to get my faith and take my faith a little bit more seriously than I had before. And at the time I had uh, just started dating Cheryl, um, who is now my wife, as you know. And, uh, and one of the things that we used to do, I know it's going to sound so cheesy, but because we both had had a similar experience, it, all, everything was new to us. The scriptures, it was coming alive in a different way for us. And so one of the things that we would do is we would share verses that, that meant something to us as we were reading ourselves, and then we would send each other uh, these little cards. And these cards are 30 years old now, um, and I've kept them. And what we would do was to try it was a way to try to memorize and get this scripture into our hearts and into our minds. Um, and one of the ways we did that is we just would write them down on a card and uh, we would put that card um, on our mirror, um, on our dashboard of our car, sort of on the, not on the speedometer side, there's no excuse for speeding because you couldn't see it because of the Bible verse, but like on the tack side or, or somewhere convenient where we would see it regularly. And uh, so, for instance, this one, this is Cheryl's handwriting. Um, it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord completely. Don't ever trust yourself in everything you do. Put God first, and He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Sounds like the New Living Translation. And uh, here's one that I did. Um, again, it's kind of getting old, um, like me. But uh, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it, Psalm 24, 1. So we would share these back and forth, and they became a way that we got Scripture into our heads and into our hearts um, a good bit. And it's surprising that years later, sometimes when I'm going through something or something comes up, some of these Bible verses will pop up and will absolutely minister to me um, in, in just amazing ways. So... Um, Psalm uh, seventy three twenty six here. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm seventy three twenty six. So I would encourage you in your own homes to find some index cards and begin to do this. And what I want to do is throw out a bit of a challenge here. I'm going to give you a verse that I would like you to memorize. When you've memorized it, and, and uh, you just go to the comment section below this video and say, got it. And this can be for kids, this can be for adults, it can be for teens or whoever, but just say, got it. When I get 30 of them, I will give you a new verse. So um, I'm trying to find the verse that I want to give you now because I'd put it back in the box. Uh, so here's this week's verse, um, Phil Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers or whatever version you want to use. Again, I think that was the New Living Translation, um, Philippians 4, 6. So commit your verse to memory. We get 30 uh, got it's on that page. We'll go to a next one. Find your own box or index cards, whatever you want to do. Make this a family uh, a thing, and uh, let's see if we can truly read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest the scripture as we commit it to memory during this time. Let's make the most of, of this time that we've, we've got here, everyone at our homes, and see if we can't um, come out on the other side of this with a deeper appreciation of the Word of God, and that we would uh, be able to put it into our hearts in such a way 
that uh, it serves us well for the rest of our lives. Blessings.